What's that? <laughs> Frozen sky stars falling on your head? Uh-huh. And when you touch them, they turn to water. <laughs> <laughs> now, Littlefoot, really, such a thing is not unheard of, but never in the Great Valley. Only in distant places that far walkers come here to get away from. But I saw it! I... Okay. Sorry. Very well. Now, to return to our previous discussion. You believe me, don't you? Oh, sure, me believe you, but then me believe anything. Sure he can, Ducky. I've heard of it. This is what the Wanderers come to the Great Valley to escape. And now it's come here, too. We need to talk to Mr. Thicknose. Well, uh, hmm, uh, I've never known this to happen in the Great Valley in all my years. So why is it happening now? This stuff is horrible. It's everywhere. Well, I'll say. It's so slippery I almost couldn't make it up the hill from my nest. Yeah, he slid backwards right into my nose. <laughs> it was really funny. See? White sparkles from the sky. Just like I told you. What did you say, Littlefoot? Go ahead, Littlefoot. I, uh, I just saw some of the white sparkles fall the other night, and I told... Told who? Who'd you tell? Um, my friends. And Mr. Thicknose. What the fuck? You knew this stuff was falling. <laughs> the boy said something, but it seemed so unlikely. We're really disappointed in you. We thought you knew everything. So did I. Uh, here come the spike tails. Oh, hello. 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 You folks are wanderers. You must have seen this stuff before. Oh, yes. When the frozen sky stars fall, well, that's when we leave. But that's just us. You know, we pretty much eat all the time. <laughs> 
And green stuff is a bit harder to find under all this. Oh, yeah. I think here in the Great Valley, they will turn to water very soon. Oh, that's great. <laughs> 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 oh, cut it out, Spike. <laughs> no? I do not like that. <laughs> hey, that looked like fun. the white brown sparkles. Don't you, Grandpa? Yes, Littlefoot. I do. But I'm... I'm so hungry. So what? Everyone's hungry. There's almost no food left, and if you ask me, it's all your fault. Mine? But I... I... Come now. You can't blame Mr. Thicknose for the weather. Well, maybe not. But if he's so smart, why didn't he know that the white ground sparkles brought such cold with them that it killed all the food? Why didn't he warn us to store away some tree stars until warmer weather? But I couldn't! I mean, how could I? This has never happened in the valley before. Why would you expect him to know what it would be like? Well, everybody says he's been everywhere and he knows everything. If you ask me, he doesn't know much at all. And I don't think he should be allowed to confuse the young ones with his crackpot ideas. Gosh, 
Really, Mr. Threehorn, I think you're being unreasonable. Well, I can't help it. I'm hungry. That's why we've decided to leave. Now, don't get me wrong. Just because I was yelling at him... Nobody said you have to go. I know, but there's hardly enough food in the valley for those who live here all the time. We spike tails eat more than our fair share as it is. Besides, we're used to moving around. And we'll be gone tomorrow before the great circle is high in the sky. Good luck. I hope you find food. Well, we can't do worse than here. <sighs>